Hi, it's Mike Wilson with Nova Real Estate Group. Today I want to talk about questions that I'm getting from sellers. Some of the top questions that we're getting from sellers today are, uh, can I even list my house today? Are there any buyers to buy my house today? And kind of personal safety aspects. Um, I'm not really that comfortable with a lot of people in my house. I, I would like to sell my house, but I'm not really comfortable with a lot of people in my house. Uh, what, can I still sell it without having a lot of people in it? So let me take the first one. Can I list my house today? Uh, and, and I think that really speaks to, um, is the business operating, is the real estate industry operating? And, and the answer is absolutely. And I talk about that a little more in, in some of my previous uh, videos, but we're absolutely open for business. And by we, I mean Nova Real Estate Group is open for business. The real estate industry is open for business. Um, all of our uh, suppliers are open for business. Um, we work with top quality suppliers. So at every step of the of the process, people are open for business. The government offices are open for business. Uh, as well. So the so any of that could change, but we're keeping a really close eye on it. And I can say this, that uh, you absolutely can list your house and everyone in the in the uh, in each of the steps, every supplier is doing everything they can to stay open. So rest assured that the business is operating, the real estate industry is operating. Of course you can list your house. The second one is um, probably even a little bit more telling, in, and that is, um, are there any buyers out there? Uh, are, to buy, are people buying houses now, or is everybody uh, t too scared to even go through with a large transaction like that? And that's a very legitimate question. Uh, and the answer is, um, yes, absolutely. And I can say that um, unequivocally because we have active buyers that we're working with, and we have active sellers that we're working with. So both sides of, of this, of the transaction, the, there are people that are active. We're personally working with people in our business. So I'm not comfortable with a lot of people in my house, say sellers to us. And our response is um, we understand and we respect that. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of guidelines from CDC through employers. Uh, your mailbox is full of how do you keep yourself safe in the coronavirus era, if you will. Of course, we use professional photos. So we even use more professional photos. We always have virtual tours. So, And not only do we have virtual tours, but we have uh, guided agent tours. And you've probably seen uh, Milena do those with uh, the houses that we have on the market now and that we, we have recently. And I'll start with the photographer. And every time when an agent or a photographer or a service provider is in the house, um, then apply all of the CDC recommended. So gloves, mask, wipes, hand sanitizer, all of those things, you apply those. Uh, for anybody that's coming in the house. So let's start with the photographer. S so apply those. And then when you come back into the house as the seller, then uh, you do the same things. Uh, wipe down the doorknobs again. We so uh, requiring appointments gives us an opportunity to talk to the agent to answer all of the questions. The agent often knows that we do when we're out working with, with our uh, buyer clients uh, we know what they want. Uh, we recommend sellers give permission to take photos to give another guided tour. So the buyer's agent now is the only one in the house. Gloves, hand sanitizer, you know the drill. They take the video tour or a live tour with their, eight, with their client. They answer the questions and now that it goes one way or the other, just like if they were at the house, they're even more motivated. So we're filtering that pool and we're, make, we're using technology to minimize the number of people that are in the house and minimize and therefore minimize the exposure. Uh, but now what? Now you're going to have um, inspectors, um, an appraiser, you're going to have termite, you're going to have uh, potentially contractors, plural, maybe inspectors, plural. Uh, 
So let me give you some examples. Uh, inspectors uh, are a great one. Um, every one of the inspectors that we work with has uh, we've been in contact with, and every one of them have, has, of course, applied their own um, emergency preparedness procedures and checklist uh, in this situation. So they're already using uh, gloves, um, um, gloves, boots, uh, hand sanitizer, wipes. Um, they're also only doing the inspection solo. So they're the only ones in the house. The agent isn't even, we're not even in the house. More photos, more robust report, and then a virtual meeting with the client, with their client. That's how they address it. So what does that do for you as a seller? Uh, that's fantastic because not even the agent is in the house. So the agent is there to let them in and, and stays, but like in the car. Uh, so there's social distancing there. There's a, one individual in the house, and they have best practices for minimizing their own exposure to a house or the exposing somebody, uh, you know, just minimum exposure on both sides, both ways. So, uh, so an inspector, that's a great one. And then they're using technology, more photos, a more robust report, uh, and immediate, and, and those are virtual anyway. Those are coming digitally, I mean, anyway. Um, and then the meeting and the discussion instead of at the house is happening after the fact when they present the report and they take, they take the time for that. And uh, apply that same thing to appraisers. It's usually only one person anyway. Social distancing. Apply it if a contractor needs to come in. Uh, apply it to multiple contractors. It's applying it the same way. And nearly everybody that we've talked to has the capability and is um, augmenting their existing procedures with uh, virtual meetings. So they'll answer questions. There'll be a, a Zoom meeting, a, a FaceTime meeting, uh, but it's as face-to-face -face as you can be and have social distancing. So we apply that all the way through when there's people involved. So at this point now, um, You've got a contract, you're a seller, you've got a contract, uh, you've done the due diligence, you're going to closing. Great, fantastic. Uh, now what? At closing, usually that's a room full of people. <laughs> so how do you apply social distancing and how do you minimize the risks there? And the, and the title companies are handling that. They've put their emergency uh, procedures in place. They're applying the social distancing concepts. They're applying the minimum number of people, the minimum amount of exposure. And they're also using um, wipe downs uh, in between every single closing. They're using uh, hand sanitizers. They're, um, nobody uses uh, the same pen. That's a good one. Nobody uses the same pen. Everybody gets their own pen and they take it with them. Uh, they have one closer or closing attorney, so one efficient, if you will, in the um, closing in, in the closing room. And, uh, and then the minimum number of signers. So if you're not a signer, if you're not signing, then you're not in the room. So I'm an agent, so, it, so I'm not in the room. So uh, Melena and I, we have closing coming up this week. Uh, we're not going to be uh, physically at that closing. That's the first time in 15 years that we've had a uh, transaction close and we haven't personally, physically been there for the closing. And of course, if you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comments section below. I'm happy to answer those. If you know anyone that is considering buying or selling uh, real estate today, uh, and is uncertain about how to proceed, uh, please share this with them. Uh, please share this information with them. 